guys, how you doing? This is Swati from the Creative Bent, and maybe you can tell from my attire that I recently came back from a road trip to Rajasthan. So there, um, obviously, you'd know that you know they have such pretty fabrics. This one is tie and dye. They're really famous for block prints as well. So while there, I was inspired to make a cushion. So I'm going to turn a really regular canvas cushion into a statement cushion with block prints. To find out what I do, stick around. So this is my plain basic cushion cover. What you need to do is wash it first and then iron it. Next, to make things easier for you, you can simply fold this in half and lightly crease it so that you'll know where you want to place your blocks. This will act as a guideline for all your block printing. Next, you have to insert these newspapers into your cushion cover so that when you're printing, you don't have the imprint on the other side. If you have some gaps here, you have to just take care that you have to move the newspaper whenever you're doing the print. I'm going to be using this block. You can also take the paint in one plate and then keep dipping your block. This way works better for me. Keep a newspaper handy so that you can wipe off the extra paint like this. Apply, press, take out. Now the block printing does happen like this, sometimes it is completely imprinted, sometimes it's not but that's the whole appeal of handmade so that should be okay. Now I have this triangular block, I'm using cyan for this. With different blocks, you can create a whole border around this. That is what I'm going to do with these blocks. So I've just finished making my design. This is the border, there's a centerpiece and I've not only used pink and blue, but yellow and dark blue as well, lots of colors. Now I'll leave this to dry and then put some pom-poms on it. Now once this is dry, you can remove the newspapers. Next I have these colorful pom-poms here. I'm going to attach sew on actually, three on each end. For that, please use a transparent thread because there's so many colors here that a transparent thread will be better. Similarly, you can put pom-poms on all ends as well as one in the center. I want to put green here. So that was my cushion cover with pretty pom-poms and block prints. You can try possibly in a single color or even more colorful if you want. And your design will be very different because it will vary with the block that you choose. So give it a shot and let me know how it goes for you but 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 before you go leave me a comment like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.